Thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. What's better than NBA basketball on a Saturday night? We're here to bring you the action. Brian Anderson here, joined by our analysts, Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, plus reporting from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Brian, as the NBA pivots away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three-guard lineups to great effect, trading some size for skill. We'll see if the trend continues, but guys, for now, it seems that even if there's only one ball, having multiple ball handlers can be very effective. Very interesting, Allen. Good stuff there. Thank you. Here's a look at what's coming up for the New Orleans Pelicans. On Monday, they'll be matching up against Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And then on Wednesday, they'll be playing against Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. A look at the Pelicans starting group. Alexander Walker and Ingram are on the wing. Zion at power forward with Valanchunas at center. And it's Graham in at the point guard position. And for the Timberwolves, the backcourt is Russell and Edwards. Josh Okogie is out there with Torian Prince. And it's Towns in at the center position, locking down the middle. And both teams tonight loaded with young talent. Doris, what's the key to reaching their potential? I think patience. Every NBA player needs.
and repetition to gain the experience necessary to be successful. The only way to do that, tip it up and let him play. Goes up with the strike, and it's Russell. That time on the assist by Edwards. 
to me, you've got to stay attached to D'Angelo Russell, especially when he's in those in-between areas. The steal. And here we go. The Timberwolves on the run. Anthony Edwards showing you, yes, I am a vertical threat at the rim. Here's New Orleans now. Four-point game. This game coming after a loss versus the Bulls. They really struggled to find their footing throughout the night. But towards the end, they got into a flow and almost won it. You know, their energy kicked in down the stretch, but too many mistakes overall just was not their night. Williamson against Towns. Goes back up. And the bucket is good from Williamson in deep. Nice, aggressive play from Williamson. Crashing the offensive glass and getting a second chance shot. Outside Russell. Prince down low. He's against Williamson. The offensive rebound. Russell, that's good. You know, to me, it's huge when D'Angelo gets to the glass. This guy has the ability to use his athleticism to his advantage. Here's Graham. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to be on Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. And you think about the draft profile of LaMelo Ball. Grant, the court vision has been as good as advertised. I mean, he's just a gifted passer who sees over defenders. He enjoys making those flashy plays. He's been everything you want from a playmaker. Throws good for Graham. And both free throws good for Graham. The Timberwolves have gone three of six since the tip. And here's Russell. His last outing, he had 18 points. Here's Prince. Pass to Edwards. Six to shoot. No good on the triple. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. Williamson passes to Valanchunas. Here's Alexander Walker. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. Now, if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Towns has got room. That shot's good. Russell making the play. What you love about D'Angelo Russell, he can impact winning with both his scoring and his passing. Graham finds Ingram. Here's the three. Russell with the rebound. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Over Graham. And that one comes up a bit short. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Here's Williamson. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. There aren't many players that have come into the NBA as a consensus number one pick like Zion Williamson did. Nobody was passing on this fellow. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Williamson. In that 2019 draft, Zion was a prize that every team in the lottery was hoping to win, Grant. And that added a lot of excitement to that night. I mean, when you've got a once-in-a-generation talent like Zion, the lottery becomes a major event. And so he's able to get one of two. When we talk about must-watch 
players, Zion Williamson might be at the top of my list. He can light up an arena with some of his exploits. Now here's Edwards. He chipped in with 13 points in his last game. Outside Russell. Akogi on the wing. Driving in. The shot, no good. And New Orleans will come the other way. Graham, the pass to Williamson. Oh, Williamson throws it down. You know, coach gets mad when Williamson gets hit and there's no whistle. And it happens a lot. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's Russell. No good off the back of the rim. The Pelicans trail. Williamson into the lane. Can't get that one to go. He's just 2 of 5 now from the field. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting 33% in the first quarter. Another miss by Minnesota. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Graham, the pass to Valachunas. Here's Alexander Walker. Graham for three. They get it again. Valanchunas. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And a lot of interest in the early part of the season to see how teams have changed with the addition of new pieces, Doris. Yeah, or perhaps the development of existing players. It's fascinating to watch. Always great to see those teams that have taken the next step. And the first one at the line is good. What we know about Torian Prince is he's a terrific competitor who knows he's going to lay it all out on the floor every night. For coaches, that is such an invaluable trait. Second free throw, no good. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Here's Alexander Walker. Oh, that doesn't go on the chance to tie. Minnesota in the lead. Now here's Edwards. Outside Russell. A Kogi on the wing. Ooh, good D by Graham. Here's New Orleans now. Here's Williamson. And again, New Orleans, no good. Russell to pass to Towns, and he converts the layup. I'll tell you what, it's hard to stop Carl Anthony Towns when he's looking to score. He's got every trick at his arsenal. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Pass to Alexander Walker. Kicks it out to Williamson. Graham for three. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. Graham's got five now. You'd love to see Zion develop his passing game even more, but credit to him for spotting the wide-open man. Outside Russell. Back to Towns. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. New Orleans has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Graham, the pass to Ingram. Graham with it. Coming off a 16-point game against the Bulls in Chicago. And his passing was simply amazing. A lot of fun to watch. Not his best night, and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. Pass to Prince. Over Graham. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Here's Alexander Walker. Williamson inside, guarded by Edwards. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting the rock around 41% during the first quarter. All right, now let's have a look at who was really dominating the boards last season. Third is Jonas Valanciunas. Simply put, he was terrific down low last year, owning the glass.
All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. They've pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the defense to collapse. That could free up shooters going forward. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. First one falls for them. And a new group getting ready for the Timberwolves. Reed's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. Vanderbilt comes in for Okogi. Beasley's checked in for Edwards. And it's Beverly in for Russell. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Here's New Orleans now. They trail by six. This game against Minnesota is the first time they've met this year. Yeah, they beat this team in the season series last year. But what's that really saying? Now here's Hart. He really had an off game against the Bulls. Four on the clock. Shoots over Reed. Offensive board. They're quick to the punch. Good anticipation by Willie. That time owning the offensive glass. Now Beasley. In his last outing, 16 points for him. Pass to Reed. Beverly with it. Over Sadoransky. New Orleans has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Now here's Sadoransky, Beverly defending. Sadoransky outside. Shoots over Beverly. Here's Hayes. He's now one for two with that bucket. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Got a piece of it. Here's Beasley. And that one's long. The Pelicans trail. Hart from long range. And another three for New Orleans. Always a bonus when points come from unlikely sources. And you can see this guy's been working on that shot. Beverly with it. Now Sadoransky defending. Prince down low. He's against Hayes. Prince can't hit. New Orleans has gone two of four from distance to begin this one. Outside Hart. Vanderbilt pulls it in. And for Minnesota, they're shooting only 35% so far in this quarter. Here's Prince. No good, and they can't put it into the drought. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Sadoransky goes in, and it's good. Hit. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go good to shot. the line. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Towns has checked in. And the free throw, no good. Well, you have to feel for Carl Anthony Towns these last few years. Obviously, losing close family members during the pandemic. One of the toughest personal stretches for anyone. Grab that one. However, so far, they're getting a little out hustled on the boards. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Nas Reed and Towns throughout all the turmoil. Duras, he's been a model leader. You know what I love about Carl Anthony Towns is the grace with which he has handled some incredibly difficult challenges, has shown unbelievable strength throughout his tenure in the NBA. And he makes it first. And 
he makes both free throws. The Timberwolves trail. Boy, they'd time love out, if out. anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And Minnesota calls time here. Lots to talk about here, guys. I mean, losing momentum and looking for answers. I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. Beasley outside. Back to Beverly. He got a piece of it. And he's able to get it back. Pass to Reed. Clock at six. To halt the run. Murphy pulls it in. They've been just a little bit better on the glass so far. Showing their tremendous work ethic. Just a textbook alley-oop. Beautifully done. He served it up on a platter. Hard against Beasley. Pelicans cleared away. It's hard on the wing. Fires from deep. And another three for New Orleans. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. And here's Beasley. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Beverly outside. There's the triple. Offensive rebound. Reed. Well, you look at the tools of Nas Reed. They are impressive. This guy can protect the rim and step outside. What more could you want from a developing big? The first free throw is good. Shots good from the strike. And here are the Pelicans now. They're on a 19-7 run to the paint. Hayes, shots good. Hayes has got six points. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Pass to Beasley. Launches it. He drops it from range. Now Patrick Beverly making it easy for his teammate to score. New Orleans in the lead. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Hart. Vanderbilt with the block. And as it goes out of bounds, New Orleans will keep possession. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Here's Hayes, cranked it in off the glass. Give him eight points now. 
And they've quickly gathered eight second chance points thus far. Beverly outside. One second left. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And guys, what's your take on the Pelicans so far? Well, it's pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Yeah, the defense hasn't been there. They are getting hammered on second chance opportunities. New Orleans has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Okay, on the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. Thomas Sadoransky is out there with Josh Hart. Then there's Hayes. Then there's Willie Hernan Gomez. Now here's Hart. Five to shoot. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Offensive rebound. And he gets the bucket. Hayes has got ten points. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Beverly finds Towns. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. Well, we know how capable and consistent Carl Anthony Towns can be when he gets this kind of inside position. Pass to Murphy. Throws it up high. And finished off by Hayes. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Here's Beverly. It's good. No, it's just Patrick Beverly, despite the lack of size, competing on the glass and getting the putback. The Pelicans have got two of three shots to go in the second. Pass to Hart. Back to Sadoransky. Now Hernan Gomez. Shoots over Beasley. Hernan Gomez, no good. The Timberwolves trail. Towns passes to Beasley. Here's Vanderbilt. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Towns. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Towns. A sloppy turnover. When you're not locked in, you pay the price. Some changes for Minnesota. Anthony Edwards is checked in for Reed. And Russell is subbed in for Beverly. Ingram's checked in for the Pelicans. Second quarter play with around two minutes gone so far. And again, no good by New Orleans. The Timberwolves shooting just around 32% from the field. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. The Minnesota Timberwolves and their sister franchise, the Lynx, under new management, or at least that's the plan starting in 2023. A key part of the sales agreement was stipulation that the teams remain in Minnesota, something that's got to make the fans in the Twin Cities very happy. Oh, that's great news, Allie. Thanks for that. It's scooped up. Another shot. Vanderbilt, no good. New Orleans has gone three of six from deep so far. And stolen by Edwards. Pass to Towns. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Sadoransky goes in. And here's Ingram from the arc. Basket's good on the assist from Sadoransky. Sadoransky's got four assists now tonight. 
Now here's Beasley. Pass to Vanderbilt. Now here's Russell. Tightly guarded. Shot clock at six. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Drew the contact from long range, and he almost got the hoop to fall. Instead, he'll shoot three at the line. Hey, nice work attracting the foul from deep. He'll shoot three. Well, it happened very quickly, but Malik Beasley has shown he can be a deadly scorer in the NBA. The man is a walking bucket. That's good from Beasley. You know, with Beasley, he can attack in several ways on offense, Doris. That's exactly right. He's too quick for so many perimeter defenders. And if you go small on him, he can bully you in the post. He's a tough matchup, and he knows it. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Okogie's checked in. And the second free throw is good. And he can't make it three for three. Well, at the wing position, Grant, you were one of the league's best passers. Which wing players stand out to you in that category now? You know, I, I mean, it may sound arrogant of me to say this, but LeBron, Luka Doncic, guys like that who really read the floor, they understand and can pick apart defenses at any position, those two are ones that stick out the most. Now here's Russell. Pass to Towns. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got his fourth assist with that last one. The Pelicans have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Left side Ingram. 14 feet away. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's been fun watching Brandon Ingram's scoring stats climb. He's a guy who can really fill it up, whether he's inside or outside of the arc. You know, Grant, what's really impressive about Ingram scoring is what he can do on those nights when he just goes off. <laughs> yeah, we've seen some explosive stuff from him on the offensive end from time to time. Now, when he's dialed in, he can absolutely torch you. You just wish he could perform at that level every night. Shoot two. first one you know Brandon Ingram is an artist both on and off the court when he's not taking artful shots he's exploring his passion for designing and drawing it's both from the stripe the way he's shooting free throws tonight you simply don't want to put him there Graham against Russell. To the inside. Towns. And the shot goes down. Towns has got 14 points for the game. He's been perfect this quarter. They keep feeding him, and he keeps delivering. And it's rebounded by Carl Anthony Towns. Towns has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Here's Russell. No good on the shot. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. Williamson passes to Graham. Towns with a rebound. Towns has got nine rebounds now. Inside. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Williamson's got a sixth rebound on the night. Here's Ingram. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. Williamson's got three assists now in this one. The Timberwolves shooting just 38% in this quarter. Pass to Towns. Beasley with it. 
Down low. It's hauled in by Zion Williamson. Williamson's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Ingram against Edwards. They grab their own miss. The shot by Ingram, no good. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. Snatched up. Edwards. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Boy, when you look at Anthony Edwards' frame, it is pro-ready right now. That upper body strength, the ability to play through contact, the end one. Yes, sir. Prince has checked in for the Timberwolves. Throw good, Edwards. And Anthony Edwards, he had his ups and downs as a rookie. The talent is abundant, though. Yeah, I mean, he just needs to learn his spots on the floor. Find where he's most effective attacking. And once he gets all that sorted, he'll be a more consistent player. New Orleans calls timeout. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. Ingram, the pass to Graham. Outside Ingram. Up top, Valanchunas. Pass to Ingram. Down to five on the shot clock. Knocks it loose. Oh, it's stolen by Towns. Here's Prince. Outside Russell. Back to Prince. Now here's Edwards. Just four to shoot. Another miss by Minnesota. And here's the fast break. A step back shot. Second chance shot. And Valanchunas with the lay-in. Valanchunas has got his first two points of the night. Well, I think this is something Jonas Valanchunas has hung his hat on. His ability to consistently get to the offensive window. Nicely done. Now here's Russell. Getting his third shot in seven looks. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. Oh, it's stolen by Towns. Pass to Prince. Second chance effort. And he takes it up and lays it in. Prince has got six. So you love the anticipation. The burst to get to the basketball first off the glass. Torian Prince doing work right now. Now here's Williamson. 33 points last game. Oh, Williamson throws it down. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo, what a dunk, PA. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. And Williamson with the block. As athletic as he is, Zion can be a rugged defender. He needs to stay aggressive and keep looking to block more shots. And an emphatic jam on the lob. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a 10-point pass. The Pelicans have gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. Pass to Valanchunas. Ingram on the wing. The three is up. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. 
What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Time called here. The Timberwolves decide to talk it over. <laughs> With the offense reeling, coach has to get these guys on the same page. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. Reed's checked in for the Timberwolves. Beverly comes in for Anthony Edwards. And the Pelicans also making a change. Temple's checked in for Graham. Pass to Russell. And here's Reed. High arcing shot. Here's Okogi. Stolen by Valanciunas. To the middle. Here's Williamson. Good. Williamson's got six points in the quarter. Boy, that play developed just the way they wanted, and Valanciunas made sure they got the bucket. What a tremendous pass. Russell. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. New Orleans has gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Right side Ingram. Williamson inside. Prince is there. Williamson misses. Nice work defensively. Meeting him up top and forcing the miss. Pass to Russell. Now here's Reed. He's closely guarded. Ooh, once again, off the mark by Minnesota. New Orleans has gone 6 of 9 from 3-point range. Here's Williamson. Blocked! Uh, Torian Prince has the kind of length and speed to close the gap and send it back. What a block. Russell with the ball. Guarded by Valanciunas. Now here's Williamson. He's guarded closely. Can't connect from short range. Minnesota's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And Beverly gets it to go. Now Patrick Beverly has turned himself into a willing and capable three-point shooter. Pretty. Here's Ingram. Kogi pulls down the board. Minnesota's gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. And out of bounds, New Orleans will have it. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Timberwolves. A minute nine left in the second. Here's Alexander Walker. Eight points in his last timeout. Pass to Temple. No luck on that one. Good work defensively by Russell. Prince down low. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Prince has got four points in the quarter. Boy, gets the bucket through the contact. Tory Prince, he earned every bit of that one. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Gets them both. 40 seconds left to play in the half. 
Beverly with it. Five points in the game. Pass to Prince. Over there, Nine Gomez. Rebounded by New Orleans. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Let's it go. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And the Pelicans making a change here. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. IQ and good instincts for the game and these things Willie relies on to succeed at this level now Russell he has six Beverly outside misses the three and so it's the New Orleans Pelicans liking their chances ending the quarter with a 15 point lead they put in work down low getting in close and scoring in bunches and more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. After the first two quarters of play, it's New Orleans in control. They lead by 15. Kenny, what was your impression? They obviously crushed it from deep. They were firing it from every angle and kept hitting the target. I mean, look at the score. Obviously, a lot of things went right for them, but that's a big one. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Minnesota? They're getting abused in the paint defensively, letting their opponents set the tone. Can't match up physically, you're toast. And that's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. Toast with butter. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You know, Carl Anthony Towns has been exceptional here, guys. And just halfway through this contest, he's already registered a double-double. That takes a level of aggression and a level of focus, and he has brought it all night thus far. New Orleans has gone 6 of 9 from three-point range. The backcourt is Russell and Edwards. Torian Prince is out there with Josh Okogi, and it's Towns in at the 5, down low. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Williamson, no good. The Timberwolves shooting 32% for this game. Not what they're hoping for. Towns up top. The three is up. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got seven assists in the game. I mean, there's no aspect of the offensive end of the floor that's problematic for Towns. He's a three-level scorer. His team understands he's in rhythm. It's looking easy for him right now. Ooh, costly foul there. That'll send him to the line for three free throws. And he hits the first of three. Boy, young talents like Anthony Edwards, so exciting to watch. You know, you've got to adapt to the NBA and continue to grow and reach your potential. But there's this infectious joy and a great smile that he plays with. And he's good on the second. Oh. 
and he makes all three. And here is Graham. Well, that's the energy and effort that D'Angelo Russell brings on the defensive end. This guy has got the ability to be a factor there. Right wing. Here's Towns. Pelicans cleared away. Valanciunas has got six rebounds in the game. Outside Graham. Ingram finds Williamson. The jump hook. It's not going to go for him. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Well, I guarantee you this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. Boy, when you think about D'Angelo Russell, you get such incredible shot creation. This guy can attack from close or from range. He's got versatility in how he goes about producing points. Now here's Williamson. He's got 11. Just 5 on the clock. Edwards comes with a double team. Grab for 3. Prince grabs the miss. Prince has got five rebounds tonight. I'll tell you, his shot is just lost right now. There's just no consistency. Amazing that they're still up in this basketball game. For New Orleans, they've gone 0 for 4. Not the way they want to start the second half. Graham, the pass to Williamson. Outside Ingram. Nails it from beyond the arc. Ingram's got 13. And with Russell... There is no easy answer for how to defend him, Doris. Yeah, you forget the size he brings to the guard position. Six foot four and faster than most players. Russell can do a lot of damage no matter who is checking him. Here's Prince. Give him eight points now. Six on the shot clock. Tries it from the top of the key. The bank shot, no good. New Orleans has gone seven of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. Graham goes in and is blocked. Towns against Valanciunas. Tipped. Boy, that's the length of Jonas Valanciunas on the defensive end. Not easy to get a shot over the seven-footer. Outside Ingram from the high post. The putback. It's good on the putback. Big time effort on the glass. And when you have a touch that soft, those tip-ins are easier to make. Pass to Prince. Now Edwards. Uneasy two on the layup. He's got 12. And that's strength and concentration from Anthony Edwards. Yes, there's contact. Doesn't bother him. Here's Williamson. Williamson. Great positioning on the putback. And the Pelicans lead by 12. The effort, the position, the timing, all there. And add instincts to that. He can sense where the rebound's going to go. Now here's Russell. He has six. Count that one. What a gamer this guy is. D'Angelo Russell relishing the opportunity to play through contact. Here's Graham. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. good for Graham. And whenever a team has a superstar talent, Doris, there's immediate pressure to build a roster that can win a title. Obviously, more teams fail than succeed. There's no doubt, B.A., because what you're seeing in the modern NBA is guys who not only obviously want to get paid, this is a business, but what happens is they also want to win because it's all about their legacy. And so they put pressure on an organization. Make sure we have the pieces to compete for a championship. Now here's Russell. Give him eight. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Russell's got four points now in the quarter. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. To the inside. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. 
And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. Minnesota's gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Back to Russell. Pass to Edwards. Outside Russell. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. Russell's got 13. He's a new man this half, playing with much better intensity and getting results. Valanchunas finds Ingram. Knocked away. Now here's Graham. Good work defensively by Russell. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That's the third foul of the game. And great job to establish position and square up. Beasley's checked in for Prince. Hernan Gomez is checked in for the Pelicans. Hart comes in for Graham. Here's Alexander Walker. Five points in the game. Unable to get that one. Some solid D from Beasley. Pass to Okogi. Over Hayes. Off the left rim and out. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's one he normally converts. It's hard on the wing. Guarded by Russell. Now Hernan Gomez. Shoots over Beasley. Nails the baby hook. He has seven. That's one thing about Willie. He has no trouble being aggressive, particularly when operating close. Now here's Russell. 13 points in the game. He's off on the layup. New Orleans has gone 7 of 11 from outside the yard. Nice percentage from distance so far. Back to Aaron Gomez. Over Edwards. Left block shot on the way. Aaron Gomez, no good. Minnesota's gone 2 of 3 from outside so far in the third quarter. And Edwards, here we go. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Boy, Anthony Edwards showing you that I've got the handle, I've got the strength off the dribble drive. Pretty move. Here's Alexander Walker. He's guarded by Beasley. Shot clock at five. The shot by Alexander Walker, no good. The Timberwolves have gotten seven of 14 attempts to fall in the half. Down low. Here's Towns. Uses the glass on the layup. Towns has got five points now in the quarter. Oh, big time athletic play by Cat right there. Brushes off the contact, gets to his finish. Nicely done. Basket's good. Well, there's an aggressive mentality in play. Working close, find a way to score. Right side, Russell. Inside. Tries again, and it's laid in by Towns. Towns has got 21 points in the game. Two things there, guys, to get to that offensive rebound put back by Carl Anthony Towns. Instincts and positioning, both in play. Oh, and Towns with the block. Erdogan Gomez gets the timeout, bucket. Timeout. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. And Minnesota calls time here. And when you watch Towns, one thing is clear. He's one of the best in the league. He gives you so much when he's on the floor. Some changes for Minnesota. Reeds checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. Vanderbilt comes in for Okogi. And it's Beverly in for Russell. Temples checked in for the Pelicans. Sadoransky comes in for Alexander Walker. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. 
Thanks, Brian. Historically, a few franchises have gobbled up most of the NBA championships. A significant number of teams have never won a title, though. However, we're in an interesting time. A lot of those franchises are looking for their first title. They're among the top teams now. And guys, they're hoping to get on the board. Oh, yes. Take a break. Very Take interesting, a break. Allie. Thanks for that. Two shots. Throw good, Edwards. And you know Grant with Towns, he's arguably one of the top dozen big men in the league. And you forget how young he is, B.A. I mean, a few years from now, he might be top five. He has all the tools necessary to be a superstar. And both free throws good for Edwards. Good physicality from him in the second half, earning more trips to the line. Now here's Sadoransky, Beverly defending. To the paint. The shot is good by Edwards. Edwards has got 13 points in this quarter. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. Sadoransky with it. Working on Reed. And he stays with it. Here's Hernan Gomez. And gets hacked by the D. He'll go to the line. Well, he's in there battling, and really likes contact. Doesn't back down, draws the foul. And he drops the first. So he makes both from the line. And really strong at the line since the break. The Timberwolves trail. Edwards with it. He's got 18. Here's Reed. Hernan Gomez with a rebound. Hernan Gomez has got six rebounds in the game. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Hayes misses. Minnesota's gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. And Edwards the bucket on the assist by Beasley. Edwards got 20. And four feet of the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And stolen by Edwards. And now the T-Wolves on the break. Pass to Vanderbilt. Blocked. Sadoransky outside. And here's Hart. He's guarded by Beasley. Now Hernan Gomez. 11 points in the game. Missed it. Four for eight in the contest. And here's Beverly. Back to Vanderbilt. Pass to Edwards. Here's Vanderbilt. He's defended by Hayes. Clock at six. Here's Beasley. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. New Orleans in the lead. Here's Hernan Gomez. Oh, and Reed with a block. Now here's Beverly. Not a lot of room. It's Edwards on the wing. Covered by Sadoransky. Here's Reed. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Hart's got five rebounds in the game. Vanderbilt with the block. The kick out to Edwards. Three-pointer. Here's Reed. And he battles for the ball. Gets his second chance bucket. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half. Getting away from taking a bunch of threes. Down low. Hayes. And good. Coming on the assist by Sadoransky. Sadoransky's got assist number five here tonight. Here's Beverly. Five points in the game. Pass to Beasley. Reed with it. Covered by Sadoransky. From 10 feet away. 
And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Reed's got his second basket of the night. New Orleans has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Sadaransky outside. Hernan Gomez with it. Shoots over Reed. Hernan Gomez, no good. And to build inside. He's defended by Hayes. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Oh, terrific defensive intensity right there. Getting stops like that is crucial for them right now. And the Pelicans making a change here. We've got 13 seconds left in the third quarter. They get it back. Pass to Prince. Here's Edwards. Oh, a rim-rattling two-handed jam! Well, you can see Anthony Edwards trying to probe and create an opportunity to get off the dribble drive. Sees that window and exploits it. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. The Pelicans on top. They're up by one. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after the break. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. Well, this is exactly what you're looking for from your point guard. Survey the floor, serve it up on time and on target. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. So for New Orleans right now, we've got Devontae Graham, Zion Williamson out there with Josh Hart, and it's Temple in at the two. Here's Edwards, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Edwards has got 24. Uh, you see the kind of power that Anthony Edwards can play with. This guy, the board, the finish, yes, sir. Here's Murphy. Pass to Hart. Shot clock at six. Puts it up from 12. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Edwards got rebound number seven tonight. Here's Reed. Yep, count it. And the Timberwolves lead by three. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Pass to Williamson. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. Here's Murphy. Back to Williamson. Edwards pulls it in. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor. And misses like that are the reason why. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Beasley against Graham. Doesn't go that time. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Pass to Beverly. Moving along. Two minutes gone in the fourth. Now here's Edwards. He's covered by Hart. Hart pulls it in. Hart's got six rebounds here tonight. Now Williamson. Guarded by Edwards. The turnaround jumper. Williamson misses. Well, it's a make or miss league. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. Now fast off his feet and up at the rim in a hurry. Torian Prince with an easy one. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. 
And the Pelicans call time here. Boy, you got to like what we're seeing from Anthony Edwards. You've got to take a timeout, take a breath, and come up with a plan for how to stop this guy. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Okogi comes in for Anthony Edwards. And Russell is subbed in for Beverly. Valanchunas, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Ingram comes in for Temple. Thanks so much. I was able to hear New Orleans coach going over their plan during the break. No shocker, the amount of turnovers was his focus. He told the team, stop giving the game away. We have to value the basketball. And we have to play smart. Clearly, he is not happy with the decision making. Guys? Okay, thank you, Allie. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. Pass to Okogi. Now here's Reed. Over Hart. Reed can't hit. You know, we've seen him just tear after the rebounds tonight. No fear. You have to love that effort. And he's going for the lob! Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Rebounded by New Orleans. It's hard on the wing. Pass to Valentunas. Doubled by Russell. Outside Ingram. And it's all tied up. And we continue to watch the rise of Ingram. He just keeps adding to his offensive repertoire. Russell against Valentunas. Here's Okogi. Now Reed. Six to shoot. Here's Russell. Another miss by Minnesota. For New Orleans, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Here's Graham. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Tries to break his ice. Pelicans cleared away. Ingram's got five rebounds in the game. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Russell's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Okogi. Valanchunas covering. To end the drought. And it's Graham with the rebound. The Pelicans shooting 36% for the game. Not great. To take the lead. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Well, that was clearly a foul. falls that puts him up one point in the game now the Timberwolves making a switch here Towns is checked in and a change for the Pelicans Alexander Walker's checked in and both free throws good for Graham Minnesota shooting 27% here in the fourth. And Minnesota calls time here. Boy, without question, Brandon Ingram displaying his skills today. Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D.
Here's Prince. No good. A bit long that time. New Orleans in the lead. Here's Williamson. Over to the wing. Pass to Ingram. All alone. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Ingram's got five points in the quarter. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting only 36% so far in this game. Russell against Graham. Will it go? It counts! And the foul! That's on Devontae Graham. He's only one for four here in the fourth, but maybe that bucket will ignite his offense. <laughs> and D'Angelo Russell, looking at his career, he's slowly becoming a more efficient player, learning his strengths and his limitations. What's up? Free throw, no good for Russell. And for Russell, he's still a volume scorer. But now I think he's better at picking his spots. And you can live with his percentages. I mean, he's improved his shot from the outside. It seems like he's always looking to refine his game. Alan Tunis can't get it to go. The Timberwolves trail. Here's Prince. Got it. Good job in the low post. We talk often about Torian Prince's range as a shooter. Let's talk about athletically the ability to get in transition and get easy opportunities. Nicely done. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Graham. Yeah, a communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. Russell against Graham. Outside Russell. Pass to Towns. Over Graham. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. The Pelicans shooting around 30% since the fourth quarter got underway. Alan Jonas. That one's good on the sweet setup by Ingram. And the Pelicans lead by two. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting 33%. This hasn't been their quarter. The 11-footer. Here's Okogi, covered by Ingram. And it's going to be a three-second call. Boy, not on the same page there. And in a possession ball game, that's a big mistake. New Orleans is shooting just 37% so far in this one. Pass to Valanchunas. Ingram with the ball. From deep. Prince grabs the miss. Prince has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Outside Russell. Ooh, once again, off the mark by Minnesota. This guy has not been a factor at all in this quarter, and it has hurt the team. And Williamson throws it down. It's so hard to live up to the hype, but Williamson has. Zion is a must-watch. Pass to Russell. Over Graham. The shot by Russell, no good. If this quarter is any indication, he's not going to be the guy to turn this game around in their favor. Back to Williamson. Again, the Pelicans good for two. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. They've really bottled him up here in the fourth. He's only two of seven from the field. Pass to Williamson. Now here's Ingram. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Williamson's got five assists in the game. Williamson against Russell. Let's it go from 11. Misses off the left iron. For New Orleans, they've gone 7 for 15 in the fourth. And stolen by Beasley. On the break. Soft touch off the glass. And when they need it most, they show us some clutch play on both ends of the floor. Right side Ingram. Prince grabs the miss. 
Prince has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Towns. Rebounded by New Orleans. Williamson. New Orleans has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Outside Grant. Outside Ingram. Back to Alexander Walker. Over Beasley. And again, New Orleans, no good. Minnesota shooting only 36% so far in this game. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Williamson passes to Valanchunas. Doubled by Towns. Back to Valanchunas. Outside Graham. Just five to shoot. That shot off. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. Towns passes to Russell. Back to Towns. And it's powered home by Towns. Oh, needing a bucket there. Towns doesn't hesitate. Pass to Williamson. The kick out to Graham. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Williamson's got six assists here tonight. And Minnesota calls time here. They're down by four. 143 left in the fourth quarter. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Zion Williamson. Yeah, and it's not surprising. He's really going at the defense inside throughout the entire game. It's just showing the D no mercy whatsoever. They constantly were feeding him the ball, clearing out, and letting him do his thing. Hart's checked in for the Pelicans. One forty-three left in the fourth quarter. Russell finds Beasley. Misses from short range. New Orleans has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. And that's a foul called on Malik Beasley. That's his first foul. Anthony Edwards has checked in for the Timberwolves. New Orleans calls timeout. They're up by four. A minute and a half left in the final quarter. Edwards 
Second shot opportunity. Cash! And he's brought them within two points now. And talk about stepping up in a big way. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. It's hard on the wing. The layup misses. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Towns passes to Russell. Yes! And tie game! Huge basket right there! Well, Russell is just absolutely fearless. He'll be the hero or the goat in that instance. Yes, sir, hero. Timeout called. The Pelicans. The score tied at 101. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Outside Graham. To the middle. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Here's Towns. Oh, and a chance to win the game, but the last minute shot is offline. Time expires. We're going to overtime. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And now we get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. Tip-off goes to Minnesota. So the overtime period is now ticking away. Should be fun. The backcourt is Russell and Edwards. Torian Prince is out there with Carl Anthony Towns. And it's Okogi in at the three. Prince with the bucket. High activity, challenging the heart of the defense. Torian Prince is not afraid to mix it up. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Minnesota shooting 36% for the game. Not great. Pass to Okogi. Here's Prince. Now Russell. Five on the clock. Here's Towns. Graham covering. And there's Towns on the assist by Russell. Towns has got 25 points in the game. 
And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Oh, there's the alley. Oh, it's stolen by Towns. Over Williamson. Hart pulls it in. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Left side, Graham. Valanchunas passes to Hart. Pulls up. And that one hits the back iron. I'll tell you, this has not been his game. And he's making it worse with shot selection like that. To the inside. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. One of the hardest things to deal with with Torian Prince is trying to match his energy. This guy goes all out every time. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. And that's good as he hits both shots. The Pelicans trail. Outside Hart. Williamson outside. Back to Graham. Pass to Valentunas. And that one goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. That's the bucket they needed. And Valentunas goes and gets it for him. The big man seizes control of the moment. A shot from the high post. Russell, that's good. Russell's got 22 points. You want D'Angelo Russell taking these shots. This guy is fearless. New Orleans calls timeout. Just under two and a half minutes passed in this OT. Pass to Williamson. Takes a 13-footer. Got a hand on it. And so it looks like the Pelicans will retain possession here. Here's Valanchunas. Doubled by Towns. Valanchunas passes to Hart. Six on the shot clock. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. Pass to Towns. Pelicans cleared away. Now here's Valanchunas. The kick out to Graham to take the lead. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. And the Pelicans lead by two. 
Russell up top. Graham covering. Ooh, good D by Graham. New Orleans has gone two for two from distance since overtime began. Ooh, got that one up quick. Graham's got five points now in the quarter. Overtime basketball, a little under three and a half minutes in. To end the run. Here's Russell. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. What we know about D'Angelo Russell is this guy is a dynamic, aggressive scorer. The key is he's got to extend his minutes playing under control. If he does that, lights out. Good on the first. And that narrows the lead down to just three. And both free throws good for Russell. This guy has a reputation for being a great free throw shooter. And you've got to knock him down. He does it here. And he's going for the oop here. This is the guy Williamson wants to be for his team. The player they can count on in the clutch moments. Russell against Graham. Russell into the lane. Doesn't go for him. Oh, great D that time from Graham. Inside, here's Williamson. Can't cash it in from close range. The Timberwolves have gone three of nine and really struggling here at OT. Towns finds Russell. Back to Towns. From the corner, Money. Oh, does he deliver? That is a determined young fellow right there. Carl Anthony Towns. Russell against Graham. Pass to Williamson. Williamson is double. Graham for three. Money from deep. He kept his cool despite the double team and finds the open man. Minnesota calls timeout. They're trailing by five. 36 seconds left in overtime. All right, guys, what's your take? They don't want to waste time here. If they can score fast enough, they can go back on D and try to get a stop instead of having to foul. Brandon Ingram is checked in for Hart. And Russell, here we go. He connects! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! Well, Josh Okogi sees somebody working in space and puts the ball on time and on target. Pass to Williamson. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Deflected! They get it back. Ran for three. And another three for New Orleans. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. And Minnesota calls time here. They trail by six. Fifteen seconds left to play in overtime.
Minnesota with the ball. Russell finds Edwards. That three's off the mark. And so they choose to intentionally foul. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. And he ends up making the second. And that makes it a seven-point lead. This OT has been somewhat lackluster, mainly because both teams are clearly exhausted. Just showing some tremendous authority controlling the boards. Love it. Wow, what a performance. And he's not just winning with physical ability, he's winning with anticipation. And so it's New Orleans winning this one. Things looked a little uneven for them down the stretch, but in overtime, they took control. And B.A., I don't think they expected this one to be so hard fought. But when they went into overtime, they really poured the gas on the fire. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Zion, this is a team with some outstanding young players with complementary skills. How do you see yourself fitting in? I think I fit in very well. Uh, I think I'm a very versatile player. So you can throw me out there with any group, and I'm going to put up, do something to contribute. Um, and I think we're a very unselfish team, so that plays a big part to it. And any group would be happy to have you. Thanks, Zion. Allie, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.